karma is usually translated in the West as actions. And from a certain point of view, you can say that's so. The main reason why uh, it's usually explained like that is because the colloquial word uh, in Tibetan that is the classical word for karma is the word for actions. However, if you think more deeply about it, that uh, the root of our problems is karma and disturbing emotions, then if karma is just actions, then what follows from that is that you will just stop doing anything and then you'll be free of all problems. And that's not at all the meaning of what they're referring to by karma. So if you think more deeply about it, what it's referring to is the compulsiveness of our uh, behavior, that because of our previous uh, behavior and conditioning, then compulsively we act and speak and think in uh, certain ways. And uh, this is something that uh, uh, if we don't use discrimination to see whether what uh, we are about to say or do is beneficial or harmful, then you get into a great deal of trouble. This is where the problems come, whether we're talking about compulsive destructive behavior or even compulsive constructive behavior, like being a perfectionist that can also go, or wanting to correct everybody. This uh, also can go way overboard and cause uh, problems. So this is really what karma is talking about, is the compulsiveness of our actions, the compulsiveness of our behavior. That's something that we want to overcome.